this year been like uh, at, at quarterback? I know, and I know that you you kind of block for everybody the same, but is, is there any problem with it having so many guys rotating in and not having a certain starter week to week? You know, I don't I don't think that's a problem. I would consider that to be more of a positive than anything, just because you know you've got you know. It's like any other position. You want to have good depth um, for guys that can go in there and compete at any given time. So I think that having, you know, three or four guys back there rolling in, I think that's definitely been a positive for us just because it gives us, you know, that extra backbone that we need, you know, should something go wrong. Hey, Ben, uh, how uh, difficult has it been to prepare for this season in, in regards to, I mean, you don't know if you're going to play one week, you might play the next. As a player, what's the most difficult part about that? You know, it, it is it is tough, you know, just like last week because, I mean, going into Monday, you know, we had no idea that, you know, we weren't going to get to play. Um, so, you know, you really just got to make it about ourselves, um, doing everything that we need to do to prepare ourselves, regardless of what team we're playing, who we're playing, where we're playing at. So, you know, you uh, really just got to approach it with the mindset of doing this, you know, to make our team better, make myself better. You know, everybody kind of has their own individual goals for each week. And so, you know, that's that's one thing that we really strive to uh, accomplish regardless. Next, we'll go to Jake Rowe, then Chip Towers. Ben, you've had a whole season at this point to kind of line up against scout team guys, against good on good guys, and I figure it's as good a time as any. Uh, when, when you're out there, is there anybody, whether it's somebody you line up against and have to block one-on-one or just a defender in general, scout team or, or whatever, that – that, that you just, you know, that you go up against every day and this guy may not play or whatever, but you're just like, man, this, guy, this guy's this guy got a future. This guy can – he gives me trouble or, or anything like that. Is there anybody that's just kind of a load to handle out there for you? You know, um, with our defense, you know, having some guys down and everything like that as we've had this year, you know, a lot of the guys that we see on the scout team, uh, you know, are the ones playing on Saturdays. Um, you know, a lot of guys will come down there and they'll take some scout team reps and they'll go get their good on good reps. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't – I would say, um, you know, there's a couple of guys like Warren Brinson, um, you know, Stackhouse, of course. You know, there, there's some young guys. They're definitely uh, – might get some reps before the end of the year is out, but they're definitely going to have an impact here in the next three or four years. Ben, uh, I'm just – wondering what you did on the uh, sudden off weekend. And I'm just guessing it had something to do with uh, hunting, fishing, or poss possibly golf. Um, no, it wasn't, wasn't no golf. Did a little hunting, uh, did a little bow fishing Saturday night. And other than that, you know, just, you know, enjoying my time off, hanging out, you know, just kind of taking my mind off football, watched a little bit of the Masters. Uh, but, yeah, bow fishing and golf, that's about it. It's, pardon me, what is bow fishing exactly? Yeah, basically like, uh, let's see, you take a bow and arrow that's got a fishing reel attached to it and you shoot the fish with an arrow and you reel them in. Seriously? Yeah, it's pretty difficult. It's actually uh, pretty pretty hard to get figured out. <laughs> Did you, any luck? Yeah, we shot we shot quite a bunch of uh, gar and carp and catfish, so it, it wasn't too bad of a night. Thank you. Next we'll go to Mark Weiser, then Connor Riley. Hey, ben, I'm curious, just uh, you know, with JT coming in the in the summer, how he's kind of fit in with the team in the in the months he's been here. And then with Stetson sideline, I guess last week to to get more work with the ones and and uh, how that went for you all. You know, it was it was a very smooth transition. Um, you know, JT has spent a lot of time working on himself. Um, he's been running, you know, 90% of the scout team offense. You know, he, he's really been focusing on learning the playbook, getting himself healthy, and preparing himself for this moment. Um, you know, and, and I will say that about all of our quarterbacks. They've all been prepared when their number was called, and I don't expect this to be any different. Thank you. After a you know, tough start to the season there, it seems like the offensive line has really come together and stabilized. What do you chalk that up to? You know, it's just it's like everything else. You just you have to get in a routine, get in a habit. Um, you know, you've got to have guys that are going out and pushing each other. And I, I think that's what we've started doing a lot better job at. You know, the offensive line, Coach Luke, everybody really, you know, encouraging and making sure that, you know, we're going in the right direction, doing the things we need to be doing. Um, so, you know, we, we've been finding our rhythm, you know, getting ourselves in that slot that we can get out there and just go compete. 
we've still got plenty of time. We can open it up for questions. Ben, I'm just curious of uh, your, your observations of the offense. I know you've uh, been on some pretty prolific offenses while you've been here. Are you, are you frustrated by the struggles you've, uh, you guys have had, or is it kind of understandable given the circumstances such as they've befallen you guys? You know, I wouldn't say um, that I'm frustrated. I, I would say that I understand. You know, I mean, we're all humans. You know, nobody's going to have a perfect game. Nobody's going to call a perfect play, anything like that. And, you know, like I said just a couple of minutes ago, it's it's all about finding that rhythm, finding that routine, and, you know, just, just getting in the groove and making sure you keep on that track. You know, I, I don't, I've never had any doubt, you know, all season, you know, that we were going to find what we needed to find. Um, and getting that, I mean, we've, we've definitely started falling into that track. Ben, uh, there, there's this kind of, I guess it's kind of this narrative out there that, you know, Georgia just wants to play kind of conservative offense, lean on defense, win games that way. Um, what would you say to that narrative? Is that what you guys want as an offense, or, or is it more of is, – is there a lot more to it than that? You know, we, we definitely want to go out and just, you know, obviously the ground and pound game. Um, you know, where defense is out, you know, just really get on them because, I mean, we're, we're very big up front. Um, so, you know, we have that ability to wear guys out. And uh, we want to run the ball and be able to take chances whenever we need to. Um, but, you know, I, I think a lot of that falls into the hands of uh, the quarterbacks and what they feel comfortable with. And, you know, it's, it, there's a lot more that goes into it rather than just seeing, you know, this play versus this play, you know, I mean, there's safety rotations and pressures and everything else that, you know, impacts all those decisions. I mean, there, there's a lot more that goes into it than we, than we can see, you know, really from the outside, you've got to, got to peel those layers back. Um, but, you know, I, I think we definitely want to go and attack teams and, you know, wear them out. Does, do you ever, you talked about safety rotations. I assume that usually doesn't apply to you. Uh, does, do you ever kind of feel for the quarterbacks, maybe some of the stuff that they have to absorb and, and some of the decisions they may have to make on the fly, or do you think the offensive line has it tougher? You know, I wouldn't say that the offensive line has it tougher. Um, I, I do believe that the offensive line definitely has one of the most challenging positions on the field. But, you know, a, a quarterback, you know, you have to know every position. You've got to know your job plus the 10 guys beside you. Um, and then, then you've you got to see everything that's happening and, they ex and we expect him to get it right. Um, so, you know, I definitely think they have a lot of pressure on their, their plate. Um, but, you know, all those guys, that you know, that's what they do. That they're made to handle that. So, you know, we put full faith in them. And, uh, you know, more times than not, they get, they get us in the right spot. Last question, if anyone would like it. Ben, do you remember what it's like to play a game in Sanford Stadium and what will it be like to, to kind of get back in there for a game? Uh, you know, it'll, it'll be nice to get back. It's always nice playing in front of the home crowd. Um, you know, it has been a while, a couple of unfortunate events. You know, obviously not being able to play this past weekend's kind of given – it's, you know, it's given us some more time off, but it's also given our bodies some more time to recover so, you know, more guys can come out, take care of injuries, um, you know, do some extra things for their bodies to get them back uh, to where they need to be. So, you know, both positive and negatives come from it. Um, so, you know, all we can do is take advantage of it. All right. Thanks, Ben. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.